The Brainiac. Soft, cuddly, stupid. And aside from a pathological hatred of caravans, he wouldn't harm a fly. The Spider has made a career of harming flies. With 40,000 species, fangs and a serious attitude problem, the spider is the cause of one of our most common phobias. Today we find out which is scarier, Brainiac or Beast. The Beast measures 17.5 centimetres, has eight eyes and hair all over its body. The Brainiac stands 174 centimetres, has just two eyes and hair all over his body. We're going to expose members of the public firstly to the tarantula and then to the brainiac. They'll be asked to gauge which is scarier. Tarantulas kill their prey by injecting venom through their fangs and are nocturnal predators. The brainiac also prefers a nighttime meal, normally a kebab. Fear occurs when you feel under threat, whether that threat is real or imagined. Its evolutionary purpose is to kick-start the system into reacting. <laughs> but although the spider might be the more dangerous of the two, so far the shock of finding a disembodied screaming head in a box causes a greater response, maybe due to its unexpected nature. <laughs> there are over one million arachnophobics in the UK. Oh. And there's one of them. <laughs> I really don't like spiders. <laughs> but it seems today there's something scarier. Who'd have thought it? When backed into a corner, our brainiac turns feral and reconnects with his animal self. So in the first round of Brainiac v Beast, the winner is Brainiac. <laughs>